Her owner couldn't believe it. A seemingly healthy dog suddenly came down with heart disease. Now, University of Minnesota researchers want to know if a trendy type of dog food could be to blame for a potentially deadly problem. Tonight in a WCCO special report, Christian Cordero shares the FDA's alert about grain-free brands and why some veterinarians think that they're not worth the risk. <laughs> Delaney and Blue aren't just pets, they're family. And like most family, Rob and Carol Salmon of Minneapolis wanted to feed them the best, which for years they thought was Minnesota-based Nutrisource's line of grain-free chicken and pea blend kibble. Now, researchers nationwide question that brand and dozens of others for a potential health risk. The FDA also announced an industry-wide investigation into the possible connection between grain-free food and a form of heart disease called dilated cardiomyopathy, or DCM. It was a shock because they seemed normal. They seemed absolutely okay. But Delaney and Blue were sick. They tested positive for a taurine deficiency, an amino acid that's critical to life. The Minneapolis family is just one of 158 cases nationwide now under investigation by the FDA. Other researchers around the country are doing studies of their own. The 200, the even few hundred, if we're going to stretch it to that, cases sure. that we know of right now right. are less than 1% of the dogs that are eating this kind of food. Right, but there are many cases where if we're not looking, how do we know whether they have low taurine? Among those studying the risk is veterinary nutritionist Dr. Julie Churchill from the University of Minnesota. Churchill, along with national researchers at the University of California at Davis and Tufts, have a working theory that suggests it's not the lack of grains in the food making dogs sick, rather what companies put in place of it. Sweet potatoes, peas, and other legumes might be stripping a dog's ability to absorb the taurine. One theory, but no certainty. It's not a complete common denominator, and that's what makes it so confusing. In a written statement, Nutrisource told WCCO it follows and will continue to follow recommendations by the FDA and pet nutrition experts, adding in part that, quote, pets are family and we would never knowingly provide products that could harm them, end quote. They also started supplementing its diets with taurine in hopes that it will aid dogs whether they are predisposed to DCM or already have it. Sometimes, for any of several reasons, that works. It did for Blue. It did not for Delaney. Her heart was already too damaged. It's hard to wrap your mind around that you have a dog that is that sick when she doesn't look that sick. They're not showing any signs. They're going along until they reach a certain point of no return. That's what I'm worried about. Facebook groups share that worry. Pages some 11,000 users strong, searching for answers and advice from foods and tests to diagnoses. Today, pet parents are left trying to rely on the FDA's guidance or that of their local vet. If it were grain free or some of the exotic ingredients right now, I say do not feed them until we figure out what's going on. It's just not worth the risk. That's different from what the FDA is saying. The FDA is maybe more conservative because we don't know the answer and so they're unwilling to say um, stop something when there are dogs that have been eating grain free diets that have not been harmed. And there will be pushback. The salmons changed Delaney and Blue's dog food right after the diagnosis, but it might not be enough, even after nearly $4,000 in tests and medication. And that's my fear, you know. Even though we're treating Delaney, it hasn't increased that much um, with medication and taurine, so I'm not sure how long we'll have her. So when can pet owners expect more clarity on the health of grain-free food? Well, UC Davis and Tufts study is done, just waiting for peers to give it a final review. And the FDA told us it doesn't yet have a timeline as to when it will publish its report. Tomorrow on WCCO This Morning, I'll have advice from pet health associations on what to look for in a quality bag of dog food that starts at 5 a.m. right here on WCCO, Amelia. Well, that's disturbing. I mean, is there anything that pet owners should look for, or dog owners should look for sure. to see if their pet is sick or know if their pet is sick? So if, if your dog is showing symptoms, which not all of them mm -hmm. do, that's gonna be stuff like coughing, weakness, fatigue. Bottom line, check with your veterinarian if you're concerned. They can do stuff like a heart murmur test. They can also test taurine and, uh, and get an echo. All right, thank you, Christiane. You're welcome.